All right, guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, today, we are going to take a look at how to get the broker for free for your base. Uh, basically, if you want to have a broker in your base, very simple, either you purchase it from the marketplace, but if some of you guys don't want to purchase it on the marketplace for whatever reason, you can get a broker for free for your base, but it will require a lot of work. So let's get started. In order to be able to get a free broker in your base, you have to gather 10 collections. So the collection is called Prison Library. The first one is Carpentry 101. The other one is Auto Repair 101. The other one is How to Improve Your Resume 101. True Crimes of Gotham City. History of Greek Sculpture. How to Write Your First Bestseller. Kandak Rhythms. Improving Your Mental State. Poetry uh, to Soothe the Soul, Complete Legal Training in 90 Days. So these are the 10 collections you need in order to be able to get a free broker in your base. Here you can see what the broker looks like in the Atlantis base, but basically each uh, bases have their, their own broker. I made videos about uh, pretty much all the bases, so if you, if you want to look at the broker at a, of, a, of a specific base, yeah, you can do that. So how can you get those collections? The first answer is pretty simple. You can just buy them from the broker. If you go to the broker and purchase those collections, I suspect they're probably around the same price as the, the collections for the, uh, the sort of vendor, which was about uh, somewhere between 100,000 and 400,000, depending on the collections. Although maybe, maybe some of the more expensive one are more expensive than that. Uh, that's probably the case. Usually the more expensive, expensive one are worth at least a couple of millions. But it's been a while since I did purchase those collections. So if you do not have hundreds of thousands of dollars to spend on the broker, uh, maybe you're a free-to-play player, maybe you're a premium player, maybe you're a legendary player who somehow doesn't have a lot of money, I'm going to show you where you can go to farm for the collections. So the collections you can get are on Striker Island. And it's a pretty pretty big island when you can when you think of it. So for those of you who don't want to see me farm for collections, I guess now's the time to, to log off. But basically I will show you uh, more or less where the collections uh, actually spawn. And something I often uh, suggest, if you do not know where the collections spawn, don't hesitate. You can use a radar and answer if you need to. So it's a pretty big uh, island, so I'll, I'll use the radar and answer just because. As you can see, I have uh, plenty uh, accumulated anyways. And also there's a few high towers, so you might, that's why one of the reasons why you might want to use uh, the radar first. Because some, some of those collections are way up high in the, uh, on the tower on Striker Island. So you may have to look up for them uh, just a bit. And as you can see, we got a collection, but not the collection we were looking for. Uh, just the same as uh, around Ace Chemicals, there's about half, no, uh, not half a dozen, but there's, there's a, a few collections that you can get from Striker Island. And as you can see, Striker Island is a pretty big area, so you're gonna have to fly around a little bit more than you did with uh, with Ace Chemicals. If you guys uh, when it came to saw the video I, I made where I fly around the Ace Chemicals looking for collections, it's more or less the same thing here. Although the area is a little, uh, a little bit bigger, the area to cover is a little bit bigger. And also, there's some places where uh, collections are hiding. Uh, I will show you in just a second. Like sometimes some of the collections will be hiding uh, underneath a, a rock or something here on the, the cliffside or something. So it's a, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit more complicated than with Ace Chemicals. Ace Chemicals you had a somewhat small area to cover if you wanted to. Here you have a pretty big area to cover and you also have to cover it, let, let's say like around uh, close to the sea or then on top of the island. So you have a lot of ground to cover uh, in order to be able to get the collections you need. So this is probably one of the, the few occasions where using a, a radar would make some sort of sense. Although again, after a while, uh, you will, you will kind of know where the collections uh, spawn, so you won't have to, to use a radar. But the radar will make the, the process uh, faster and a little less uh, painful, I guess we could say. 
But roughly, it's pretty much that simple. You fly and fly and fly around the island, and you try to gather the collections as you can. I can hear it, but I can't see it. And also, as I mentioned, you can also... Uh, I'll show it with the next one. Basically, the collections do make a, a sound. Oh, how to write your first bestseller. So that's one of those we, we need. So also the collections do make uh, some sound. So if you also uh, not only just fly around, but also listen for them, uh, that's going to help you find them. And of course, you have to be careful not to fight those big uh, pink monkeys. And there's a whole bunch of prisoners also that may want to fight you, depending on uh, where you go for collections. But again, it's pretty much that simple. And uh, don't expect to be done with uh, the, the radar announcer last for 10, uh, 15 minutes. But I guarantee you, after 15 minutes, you're not going to have all the collections. So you'll probably have to fly around uh, the island at least for a couple of days before you get all the collections you need. So I would strongly suggest uh, see that as a marathon, not a sprint. It's not something you're going, you're going to do quickly. Uh, it's something that will require uh, a lot of luck and a lot of patience. So here we can hear the, the sound that the collection makes. And one trick that I suggested in the, my previous video was one way you can help to be able to hear the collection uh, really well is to turn off the music. If you turn off the music, then you will hear the, the collections from uh, a little bit better, I guess. Also, another trick, I suppose, is uh, use headphones. With headphones, holy crap, you'll be 100% 100, 100 focused on hearing those collections. But you don't have to. Uh... So you don't have to use uh, the radar and you don't have to uh, to listen for the collections, but it will speed up the process in trying to gather those collections. And some of those collections are pretty rare. So it's, uh, the, the rare collections, uh, it's going to take you at the very least a few days uh, to get it. Could take you even a week or two. It, it's just a matter of, of luck. Uh, if you're very lucky, you'll get the collection, the rare collection very quickly. If you're not so lucky, uh, it will take you a while to get those collections. Although it, you don't have to get all the collections. Basically what you what should happen is that you're going to gather a whole bunch of collections and then you're going to be able to go and sell those collections on the broker and hopefully you're going to be able to purchase the collections you're missing. Although if you're a free-to-play player or a premium player that doesn't want to use the escrow, uh, then you have no choice. You have to, to do it the hard way and you have to gather all the collections until you get all 10 collections. So it's a trade-off. If, you, if, you if, uh, if you're not spending money on this universe online, then you're going to have to spend uh, extra time to look for those collections. It's, it's sad, but that's how it is. And also, don't be a foolish fool like me. Make sure that your inventory is empty because uh, it fills up pretty quick sometimes. Like if you guys remember when I was farming for, for the collection for the, the sorter vendor, I, I kept on having to, to delete uh, some crap from my inventory because my inventory was full, full, full. So whenever I would get a collection, I would have to go and delete uh, something I didn't need. Oh, is there a friend who's coming to play missions? Sometimes, obviously, there are players who will compete against you for the same collections. Uh, sadly, nothing you can do about that, but try to get the collections before they do. Although it could just be someone who's, uh, who's here to play the, the various mission on the island. It happens. So here you can see, we see the, the question mark on the minimap but we don't see the collection. It just means that it's somewhere down here. So 
So normally I would fly around uh, the island like at this level and look for collections. But since we're using the radar and answer, we don't have to do that. Uh, we just need to keep an eye on the minimap and if we see a question mark, it tells us that, oh, there's a collection there. So basically we just fly around, keep an eye on the minimap and look for the, the question marks in the minimap. When we see the question marks, we know that, oh, there's a collection here and we gather it. So again, as you see, it's not here, so we're going to have to, do, to go down a bit. I may have passed it without meaning to. So basically you fly around a bit, then you fly uh, over the prison a bit, then you fly around around the island a bit, then you fly over the prison a bit. Uh, it's pretty much that simple. Sometimes some collections will be uh, close to a whole bunch of enemies. So if you're a low level, you try not to uh, to attract them, you try to, to get the collection and then get, get out of there. If you're a high level player, doesn't matter, you just uh, beat the snot out of the prisoners and you take the collection you want. And again, there's a few different collections uh, in this area. So you do not farm just for the collections for the, uh, the broker. Uh, you can farm for other collections on this island as well. So if you're lucky, by the time you complete the, the collections for the broker, uh, you'll have completed another set of collections as well. If you're lucky. So I did not keep track on how many collections we got, and uh, well, let's see how many we got for the, the prison. So you can see we got a few collections that have nothing to do with the prison. So as you can see there seems to be four different uh, collections here. There's the medical records, there's the prison library, there's the MPD science core, and there's the meta-humanities uh, meta meta vanguard. Yeah, it is a mouthful. So basically what we're looking for is the prison library. So you can see we got a we got a handful of them already. But then again we need 10 of them and again some of them are pretty rare. So sadly, uh, as I mentioned, don't expect to be to be done in uh, in 15 minutes. It'll probably take you a couple of 15 minutes to uh, if not a couple of days if not a week to be able to get all the collections. Uh, it's uh, basically it's random, so if you're lucky you get it quick. If you're, if you're not so lucky, uh, you'll be spending uh, a week, a week and a half, farming and farming and farming for collections. It's sad, but that's uh, that happens. Like I did a lot of farming for the Mr. Miracle collections, and sometimes, sometimes I got lucky, uh, after two days I would get the, the rare collection, but sometimes uh, it would take me uh, a week, if not more, to, to get the rare collection. So it depends. And there's one week where I got, I got it like two or three times. So you do what you can to, to speed up the process, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, it's random luck. Either you're lucky and you get it quick, or you're not so lucky and you have to farm and farm and farm until you do get it.
you really want to, you could uh, play the, the missions over here. At this point, it wouldn't really give uh, this character anything uh, worth it. Although, I, I the, there's the alternate reward box that could give me uh, maybe something worthwhile. You never know. And personally, I find it very relaxing to just fly around uh, this universe online. So usually what I'll do is that I'll just fly around, relax, enjoy enjoy just the, the, the feeling of flying around. And uh, that's pretty much how I gather collections. Also, people often ask me, how do you make money in this universe online? There's no miracle solution. You have, uh, you have to farm and farm and farm for valuable items. Um, I, one way, I guess, would be to farm for items like uh, the Batwoman cape or the Flash boots or the, the Ultra Ultraman cape. Especially the Ultraman cape. Uh, like I, I remember years ago when it was uh, worth about 100 million. That that's uh, the price I paid for it. Nowadays, you can get maybe 58, 60 millions for it. But the thing is with the the Ultraman cape is that. You cannot farm it uh, a lot. Like you, you can play the mission once a week, and if you if you really want to farm it, then you have to use replay badges. As opposed to if you just farm for collections, you can farm for collections to infinity. Uh, unless you use radar and answer, it doesn't cost you anything. So you can farm and farm and farm, and you can sell a um, hundred, two hundred, five hundred collections if you need to. And there's no there's no real limit to the amount of, amount of collections that you can sell. And that is how you can make a lot of money in this universe online. If you're really lucky, you'll get the collection that's worth uh, 5 million and sell it for 5 million. But even if you're not lucky, uh, sometimes I'll just show it to you. Sometimes there's a collection like, hiding all the way down here. Uh, so if you're lucky, you'll get the one collection that's worth 5 million. But even if you're not lucky, you will sell a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh. My radar is gone. Oh, I'm so sad. So as you can see, the radar and answer last uh, 15 minutes. So as I was saying, if you're really lucky, you'll get the rare collection and you'll make uh, 5 million. But even if you're not lucky, you're going to sell 10, 20, 100 collections at uh, 100,000, 10,000, 200,000. Well, all those 100,000 add up. Like if you sell 10 collection at 100,000, well, you've made a million. And if you sell a hundred of those, well, you've made uh, 10 millions. I know it seems a lot, like uh, the idea of selling hundreds of collection may seem like a lot, but I'll, I'll just show you something. And just for the fun of it, this is the base of my character, the Phantom, the ghost who walks. Oh, let's go a little towards just for the fun. This was my first main character, you could say. Oh, I don't have the mailbox here. I'm so sad. Uh, sadly, this character only has one mailbox. He's a bit of a slacker, I suppose. So basically, this is how you make money in this universe online. You sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of collections. It's, it's pretty much that simple. That is how I was able to purchase uh, the Ultra Kryptonian Cape for 100 million. And that's how I purchased uh, two or three uh, cosmic material for our... Uh, a, few, a couple for 60, one for 60 millions, and I think two for 100 millions each, or something like that. So I was able to gather a lot of money just selling collections, but sadly, you have to take the time to, to gather those collections. So once you gather your collections, what do you do with them? Obviously, you come to the broker and you try, you, 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 you use the ones that you, you can consume. Obviously, I cannot consume any of them because I already have them. So you can see we got four. We got five collections that we need for the uh, for the broker. So you can see how to improve your resume at 99,000. What I usually do, uh, you decide if you want to do that or not. Usually I'll ask about half the price of the half of the asking price. There's two reasons behind that. The first reason is that if I farm for collections, and let's say I decide I, today I'm spending the whole day just farming for collections, I will accumulate a whole bunch of collections. My inventory will be filled to the brim with collections. I don't want to be stuck with those collections for days. I want to sell them right away because I need, I need them to sell more and sell more and sell more. So usually the way to be able to sell them quick 
I look here, 199,000. Let's go for 100,000. There's two things that could happen. Someone looks at the, the collection, someone wants to buy the collection and sees that, oh, collection is a lot cheaper than the other one, I'll buy it. Or there are people who basically play the broker game. I, I, I do that sometimes too. Basically, you play the broker game, you see something at a low price, you buy it, and then you sell it at a higher price. So basically, the guy who's selling the collections at 199000 odds are when he sees my collection at 100000 he will buy it, and then he will, he will put it back to sell for 199000 So there are people who play the broker game. So by asking roughly 50% of the asking price, you almost make sure that the collection will sell fairly quickly. Either another player will see it and buy it right away because it's much cheaper than the rest, or the guy who's actually playing the broker who's selling the collection for 199 will decide, like this guy here, will probably decide, okay, this guy is selling it for 100,000, is going to buy it and put it back at 199. So either way, doesn't matter for you who buys it. If the guy buys it or if someone else, if someone else buys it, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you still get your hundred thousand. And then again, if you sell ten like that, you get a million. If you sell a hundred like that, you get ten millions. And after selling hundreds and hundreds of those collections, that is how you can accumulate a lot of money in this universe online. Assuming you don't do like I do and then spend it right away. So you can see how to improve your resume. Fifty thousand. Oh, we'll wait a bit. And auto repair. So you, I guess auto repair is uh, a little more rare. You can see. Uh, in this case, I, I won't. I won't go for half. I'll go for let's say two millions. Again, why two millions? Because the guy who's asking for almost three millions may decide to purchase mine at two millions and then put it back for sale at uh, two, two millions and eight hundred thousand. I know that some people don't like that when people do that. that some people uh, usually will undercut by, let's say, one dollar. Uh, I don't do that. Even when I play the broker game, I don't, I don't under, undercut by one dollar. Either I'll undercut by a lot, or I'll ask even more than what the people is asking. Another trick that can happen: sometimes there are items. I'm trying to think of one. Sometimes there are items that are very, very valuable that everyone wants to buy. Uh, let's assume that this is one of those. Let's assume this is an item that every single person wants to buy and that it's an item that sells very, very quickly. Like you can see the little guy here is asking for 10,000. Uh, if, if for, for example, this was a, a very valuable item, I could decide to ask for 20,000, knowing that someone will buy the one at 10,000 and then someone will buy mine at 20,000 in like five minutes. That could happen. But as a general rule of thumb, uh, unless it's a really valuable item, I'll undercut by, by 50%. Again, 50% is just a rule of thumb. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. Or sometimes I'll ask even more than the asking press on the broker. But it's re it really depends on, on, on the item. So that is pretty much for how to get a free broker for your base. So again, either you purchase it from the marketplace, which is not free, obviously. So if you want to have a broker for free in your base, there's no miracle. You have to gather all 10 collections. So either you gather them farming like I showed you, or you just buy them from the broker, you decide. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.